Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds pan-alphabetic window in a string. First, let us understand the problem statement. A pan-alphabetic window is a stretch of text that contains all the letters of the alphabet in order. Next, let us see the approach. The idea is to initialize a variable, say ch to a. Then we start traversing the given string from the beginning and increment the variable ch by 1. If we find a character equal to ch, else we move to the next index. When the string is over, we check whether ch is equal to z plus 1. If yes, we return true, else we return false. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string and store its length in integer n. We pass the string and n to is pan alphabetic window function. Now, in the is pan alphabetic window function, we take a character ch, initialize to a, and traverse in the for loop from 0 to n. s of 0 is a. Since it is equal to ch, we increment ch. That is, ch will now become b. We continue iteration in the for loop and i will be equal to 1 and s of 1 is s. Since s of i is not equal to ch, we go to the second if statement and check if ch is equal to z plus 1. That is, we check if ch has reached the last alphabet. As it is false, we continue iteration in the for loop. And now i will be 2. s of i is b. Since s of i is equal to ch, the first if condition in the for loop gets satisfied and we increment ch. So ch will become c now. We continue iteration in the for loop and now i will be 3 and s of i is c. As s of i is equal to ch, we increment ch. So, ch becomes d. We continue with the for loop and now i will be 4. s of i is e. As s of i is not equal to ch, we check if ch is equal to z. It is not and now as i is equal to 4, we finish iteration in the for loop. Hence, we return false. So, there is no pan alphabetic window in this string. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.